Hey everyone, this is David from Offbeat Forex. In this video, we are going to see how you can backtest this trading strategy using MT4 Strategy Tester. I've written a post on my blog about different ways that you can use to backtest a trading strategy. There are several ways that you can uh, use several methods that you can do uh, so let's take a look at them uh, let's touch on them uh, as you can see there are some free uh, versions like using F12 or MT4 strategy tester that we are going to talk about today there are other ways such as for example backtesting on trading view uh, there are two types there are two uh, methods there one of them is free and another one is uh, paid method uh, there are differences between them and you can check them check all of them here on this post and there are other uh, methods that are uh, paid methods like soft forex and uh, another one is uh, I think uh, forex tester but for now you can check them uh, out uh, I'll put the link in the description below you can check them out on this post but for now uh, for today's video we are going to test this based on MT4 strategy tester this is our MT4 platform and the first thing that we can do is to get rid of all these tabs we don't need them for now and the first thing that you have to do for uh, testing back testing using a strategy tester is to open a strategy tester uh, one of the ways that you can do is by clicking on this item this tab here and you can see strategy tester or you can use view and open a strategy tester from here make sure to resize the strategy tester by pulling this up dragging this up because we need this bar visual mode uh, this bar uh, for testing this is a bar that we control uh, help us to control our back testing the next step that we need to take is to adjust all these tabs based on the uh, based on the back testing that we the want. The first one is expert advisor. We are not going to use any expert advisors for now, so we are going to select indicator. And the other one is period the period that we want to test on uh, in is a time frame that we use we can use M1 or daily or the standard uh, time frames of MT4 we'll leave it here on uh, we use H1 and the next one is spread uh, we don't need this one to adjust this one and the symbol and we have to adjust the symbol that we want for example euro usd uh, we are going to test our strategy on euro usd the next one is mod model and uh, we, we have to uh, adjust this uh, in the second uh, option control points because if we choose everything it takes too long we don't need that this is uh, actually this is for um, expected expert advisors 
when you want to test something precisely you choose this one but for now we don't need to be that much precise so we can use control points it helps us to make it faster another option that we have to adjust is use data we have to uh, take this uh, one use data and choose our select our data and uh, sorry dates from for example we can use uh, something like oh, okay it's not correct here we have to choose this one and now we have to go forward okay or we can choose it from here but for now we have to choose for example 2000 and something like 18 for now and January and here we go and this is the current time we can choose today for this one because we are going to test that from 2018 to now we don't need other things we've we've adjusted our uh, strategy tester so just make sure to select visual mode because as I said we need this one this bar to control the speed of our back testing and we are now that we've that. set up our strategy tester let's press start and I think it takes a little time to download the data from 2018 to 2019 and let's see what will happen <coughs> it has to sort now okay uh, you have to press this button. I forgot to this uh, to press this button. You have to. You can pause whenever you want. But first, uh, let's get rid of these grids and uh, okay. Set our chart based on the things that we've uh, we're used to and as you can see uh, the uh, yes the price starts from 2018 and we can backtest now based on whatever method that we have first of all uh, we can choose any indicators that we want for example we can choose Moving averages, we can choose oscillators, we can choose whatever we want. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at that. Uh, we play this one, and as I said before, we can speed this up by this uh, visual mode thing. As you can see here, uh, it's moving forward and you can use whatever method that you have for example I choose this one and I pause that whenever I need I decided to buy or sell but I can't place any order because it's a strategy tester uh, you can't place any orders but you can pause and play whenever needed to uh, for example decide if you want to sell or buy then you can write them down and test your strat strategies for example I say uh, that let's play uh, I'm gonna pause this I said that I am going to buy here and I'm going to set my sub loss here and my take profit here and let's see what will happen 
Okay. It's not gonna take. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm getting picky here. Let's see. I'm going to pause this because I don't want to take it too long. Okay, we need. We don't need that. As you can see, uh, I stopped out. So I write them down somewhere. Uh, you can use a, a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. I have a post about that that I'm going to talk about that after this one. So you can test your strategy. You can uh, place orders like uh, that I did and write your results. If uh, you win, you can write them down. If you lose, you can write them down. And after that, you can uh, enter all those results in a spreadsheet on something like Excel that I'm going to talk that before after this. One. After we've done gathering information and results of your back testing, such as entry points, stop losses, and take profits. You can use an Excel spreadsheet uh, to calculate your data and see if your strategy is a winning one or it's a losing strategy. I have a thorough post about manual back testing and using Excel. I put the link in the description below so you can check it I out. I've explained everything on this post that you need for back testing manually using an Excel spreadsheet step by step. For example, you can find here things that you have to gather in the first place and uh, information can be collected as I said during our back testing and uh, these are the information like for example date and time type of position lot size entry points stop as I said the stop loss and take profit and things like that and you uh, you can you can be familiar with the results that you see uh, in for example reports of strategy tester when you back this automatically these are the things that you uh, you can become familiar with and then you there is another section that you can uh, okay that you can calculate your max drawdown and uh, this is another section how to use Excel to calculate back testing information. There is a video that you can watch so you can uh, back test. You can use spreadsheet ex an Excel spreadsheet for your back testing and lots of other things that if you want to know them better you can check this post I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out if you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe here and hit the notification bell this one so whenever I make such video you'll be notified thank you for watching and see you soon